Well, you may have seen the headlines about a surge in coronavirus cases in China. It is because the hardest hit province has changed the way that it's counting them. As the virus continues to spread, government and health organizations are working to try and stop its advance. And that includes the Centers for Disease Control here in Midtown Atlanta. Jennifer Bellamy joins us now with a, a look inside the agency's coronavirus war room. Well, Jeff, it's full of maps and people, a room buzzing with activity as health professionals work to stop the spread and the number of occurrences of this new coronavirus within the United States. Inside Atlanta Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, you'll find the agency's Emergency Operations Center, or EOC. It's the nerve center for monitoring the newest coronavirus, COVID-19. It's meant to address the sickness overseas and here in the United States, where there are at least 15 confirmed cases. The CDC anticipates more will likely be confirmed in the coming days and weeks, including among people who have returned from Wuhan, China, the epicenter of the illness. Meanwhile, China has implemented what it calls wartime measures to try and get a handle on the virus. 1,400 military medical professionals have been sent to Wuhan and millions have been confined to their homes, some undergoing door-to-door -door temperature checks with food delivered and hung on doors. Now, as nearly 60,000 have fallen ill, experts say the new coronavirus has a 2% fatality rate, with the elderly, males, and patients with pre-existing conditions, especially respiratory illnesses, the most at risk. Now, while concerns remain about this new coronavirus, it's important to remember that we are experiencing a second wave of the flu here in the United States. Health officials say it's one of the nastiest seasons for children in a decade, with 92 flu-related deaths reported in children so far.